Hey, man, she kind of came in here with some pep in your step. How exciting is just this time of year in general for you? Yeah, it's very exciting. Um, I, I think I can say that for all the guys in the locker room. Everyone's excited and um, we're getting anxious to start and, um, you know, just getting these practices in and, you know, cleaning up a few last details before they start. And, um, yeah, we're all looking forward to it for sure. When you take a step back and look at this team as a whole, what's the one thing that sticks out to you that says, hey, we are ready, you know, for what is about to take place? Um, I think just, you know, as we, you know, our, our play over the last like month or so, I think we started to clean things up a bit and um, really buy into the systems and, you know, guys are working hard and doing all the little things that it takes to win, you know, um, games get pretty tight in the last month or two of the season. So um, seeing the way some guys were playing and well, really everyone um, was exciting. And, um, you know, I think we're looking forward to carrying that into playoffs and having that little chip on our shoulder and, uh, you know, playing a good game, a good two-way game. Basically with the Caps not making the playoffs, this is going to be one of the strongest rosters in the Calder Cup playoff now, does that like bode well for you guys, confidence wise and everything that you've got a lot of firepower and a lot of experience on this roster? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of a lot of skilled guys and, you know, um really good players in that locker room. And um with some of the experience we have with some of our older guys and guys that have been through the playoffs before, it's uh, you know, it makes us all really excited and um I think uh, you know, it makes guys want to buy in even a little more. You know, you listen to what those older guys have to say and um, you know, the guys that came down from Washington were a huge addition for us. And um, we're really looking forward to, you know, getting things going and hopefully have a have a fruitful playoff season. You were part of that team in 2020 where the games didn't really matter, even though you guys played well. Then you have last year where you lose in a best of three. How hungry do you think this franchise is to find that playoff success again? Because the roster has been talented, you know, the whole time you've been here. Yeah, for sure. The last few years have been a bit of a gong show. Everyone knows that. Um you know, so since it's back to normal, it's it's nice. And um, I think, you know, like you said, we're hopefully looking to find that, that uh, you know, that playoff groove. And um, like I said earlier with, uh, you know, some of the older guys we have on our team and in that locker room that have done it before and have that experience, they're, you know, they're uh, they're really good leaders. They've been really good leaders for us all year. And, you know, we're kind of looking to follow them and piggyback on them. And, um, yeah, like I said, we're just really excited. I steal gong show from you. Yeah, That's you great. can take that yeah, one. That was yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, I, I think about guys like Dylan McGrath who have won a cup. Um, has played in the NHL, AHL. How much are you leaning on him, leaning on Nelly's experience in the Calder Cup playoffs? Like, who who are you guys going to for that leadership right yeah, now? Yeah, for sure. You nailed it around the head. You know, um, Mac and Nelly are some of the guys that come to mind. You know, Aaron Ness right away. And, um, you know, those guys are kind of, they've been our backbone all year. And, um, you know, we're looking to them in the playoffs. But, but like, a, you know, like, like like we're saying, everyone has to pick up, pick it up a little more. You know, you got to bring a little extra in, in playoffs. And, um, all games are tight, so it'll be good. It'll be a really good challenge for us. I think everyone's really excited and, um, like I said, buying in and, uh, you know, cleaning up a few details before playoffs start. But, yeah, for sure, looking, you know, to Mac and uh, Nesser and Nelly and, you know, the guys that have that have done it before. And, um, yeah, we have some really good leaders in that locker room. How does the leadership for this two-week layoff make sure that there's no rust mentally or physically uh, for when the puck drops? I, th you know, I think just, just getting some good work in and practice and, um, you know, getting up and down the ice and, you know, hopping on the bike after and, uh, making sure you're dialed in mentally and physically, uh, you know, that's, our coaches are good at that. You know, they find that sweet spot of how hard they need, how hard they need to work us and, you know, when they need to let us, um, relax a little bit, but yeah, that, that's, that's a big challenge though, right? You know, you got to find that, uh, that, that, you know, that middle ground where you're, you're not too tired, but you're not, uh, you're not, you're not, uh, you know, just lackadaisical. So um, yeah, I think it's been good. Practices have been good, and and uh, yeah, we're, we'll we'll be ready. Uh, Saturday night player awards. There was a lot of reaction on the bench. Obviously, you winning two awards there. But Fish and I were talking that we've never seen reaction like that from anybody, at least in our time, from the team being so excited for each award. And we think it sort of speaks to how close this team is, and almost how much love there is between all of you guys. Can you just speak to that fact and sort of how close you guys are and what the chemistry is of the room right now? Yeah, absolutely, Mace. You you hit it on the head there. You know that those awards could have went to anyone in that room, right? You know that. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it, it's been such a fun year, you know, with, with, uh, you know, all the things that we've done as a team and on, you know, on the ice and off the ice, there's just a lot of quality people in there and, you know, all the way down from the coaching staff to the players, um, it's just been really fun and every, you know, it's like a brotherhood in there. It's a little cliche, but it's a, it's a tight brotherhood and, um, everyone, you know, is willing to do what it takes for the guy next to him. And, um, it's just, it's just been an awesome group and that, you know, makes it even, you, you, a little uh there's a little more motivation to play because you know you, you love the guys so much and you hope you can have a long and and fun playoff run with everyone because we you know we don't no one wants to say goodbye yet